Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is another raid Shadow Legends video. So we're going to do a follow up to my How to Beat the Clan Boss guide, and this one is all about decrease attack champions, the best ones in the game. This is going to be the most important debuff you place on the clan boss at any time to make you last longer and to get you better scores on the clan boss. This is an updated guide. I did one maybe three months ago. Um, since then, the game has moved on. There's new champions. And actually, my understanding of what makes a better champion has improved as well. So hopefully, this will be a really good refresher, not just for new players, but for anybody that is interested in doing better on their clan boss damage. So let's move on then. Um, why am I doing it on decrease attack? As I said in my How to Beat the Clan Boss guide, this is the number one primary role in your team. This is the one that's going to make the difference from you lasting maybe five minutes on Nightmare Clan Boss to lasting eight minutes on Nightmare Clan Boss. If you do not have decrease attack on the Clan Boss when you get past Brutal Stage, when you're like four or five minutes in, it's a wipe. 100% is a wipe, so this is the most important ability that you can play with and you should find a way to get it into your team. So let's start then on some of the rares that can be good for this. What I'm going to do is roll through rares, epics and then legendaries and then I'm going to put them all together in a tier list so you can see who fares well in what sectors. What I've looked at is what's that champion's base defense, why have I looked at that? Because defense is how you keep your team alive. The more base defense you've got, the easier it is to scale their defense up to the required numbers to be able to keep your guys alive. Really important stat in this game for clan boss. Um, I've then looked at how likely are they to keep decrease attack on, both if you've got a, a counter attack champion and if you don't. Does it make a difference to the champion that I'm looking at here? I've then looked at what other utility can they bring for you. Always on your clan boss team, you want as much utility out of your champions as you can get. Um, I've then looked at, well, if, if you don't have books, how good are they? If, how easy is it for you to put books on them? You know, do they need a lot? Um, what's their rank once they are booked, for me personally? And then what clan boss do I think they can actually achieve? After that, it gives us a total score. Just for reference, I have used information from uh this this detail here so on reddit there's a really great uh, i'm going to link this there's a really great information thread posted by uh grav p uh don't uh, i guess that's someone in, in the community but really good information so he's worked out probabilities on landing your decrease attack um hits both on First turn, second turn, three turns, really good information here. I've used this to base some of my findings on as well. I've also used this website, which I use a lot, ayumilove.net. Uh, basically, I can go into this website and I can look at any debuffs down the right-hand side here. If I go into decrease attack, it gives me all of the champions that have this skill in some form. So good website here. So let's get back into it then. In terms of rares, there's actually some very good rares in this game to do the clan boss fight. Um, you know, you've got Bog Walker, Coffin Smasher, and Veteran, who are all absolutely viable right through to Nightmare Clan Boss. Potentially Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss with the stats they've got, but they probably just start to fall off a little bit. Um, I've absolutely used Coffin Smasher on Ultra Nightmare videos, and you know what? He does a good job. Um, so Bog Walker then got good base defense. Good percentage to land his decrease attack, 53% on his, because it's on his A1, lands it basically one in two times. Um, if he's got a counter attack champion, he does improve. His decrease attack is on his A1, so it will improve. Um, it brings increased defense for your team, um, and he's a rare, so he's relatively easy to book. So decent score there, 26 points. Coffin Smasher, one of the new rares. I've done a guide on him. Fantastic champion. Um, really, really likely to keep that decrease attack on. If you are going through to further end game stuff like Nightmare, Ultra Nightmare, you have to keep decrease attack on. He does that for you really, really well. 92% chance to keep it on if you've got a counter attack champion in your team. Really good odds. And that's to keep it on for one turn, and he actually lands for two turns. So, you know, perhaps that spikes to 100%. I don't know. I'm not an absolute sort of math god, but I feel like he would be nigh on 100%. Also brings a decrease, uh, so it also brings a uh, HP burn, which is obviously nice. Um, and he brings a, this passive, which decreases the damage your team take, which again is really unique and very nice. 
Um, so you can see the scores there. He's a, he's a rare, so he's relatively easy to book. But he does need books. He needs books in that A1 to make him effective. Um, I put through to Nightmare. It's probably harsh. He could be Ultra Nightmare. But actually, um, you know, 29, 30 points is where he would land. Runic Warder, I've thrown in there. His decreased attack is not in his A1. It's much harder to keep his decreased attack on 100%. You have to make him run much faster than your team. Got fairly low base defense as well. So for me... He's an okay champion, and if it's all you've got, you should use him, but he's not going to be top tier. Comes in at 16 points. And then we've got Veteran. Uh, in my original version of this, I actually underweighted Veteran's score a bit. So for me, he's actually better than I originally said. Really, really solid base defense. Because of that base defense, you can run him on Ultra Nightmare. That's pretty much, the, you know, that's the gauge. Can I get their defense up to 3,500? If I can, they're Ultra Nightmare viable. And you can with him because he's got such a large base defense. Uh, so that's great. He's also got a good chance to land his decreased attack. And he's a void champion, which means he can run on any type of clan boss affinity, which is really useful. Uh, so 24 points here. Um, let's move on to the first chunk of epics. There's two lots of epics here. Um, so we've got Jared, Lightsworn, Madam Cerise, and Man Eater. Um, Jared is actually one of the top tier epics in this game. He was recently on the times 10 pool. Um, but I didn't suggest go for him. And why I didn't suggest it is because there's actually a lot of people, a lot of, of epics that fit the bill really well. So unless you absolutely needed that decrease attack champion, it wasn't worth throwing your shards at. Uh, but ultimately, why is he on a, such a good score here? It's mainly because he's got a very, very high chance of keeping that decrease attack on when he's booked. 63% on his first turn, and then 84% if he's got a, a counter-attacker with him. Unbooked, I've given him an A. Maybe that's a bit generous. Maybe it should be a B, but he doesn't need tons of books, so he's relatively easy to book compared to other epics. Um, and when booked, I'd say he's SS tier, one of the top in the game. Definitely Ultra Nightmare viable. Massive utility, increased defense, ally protection, uh, and some healing as well. 31 points, really, really solid champion. Um, we've got Light Sworn in there. Massive, massive base defense. It's, it's one of the biggest in, in this list, uh, which makes him very Ultra Nightmare viable. The biggest challenge with Light Sworn is his decrease attack is on his A2. If you miss, if it gets resisted, you wipe. I used to run him before I had any of the better champions that do it on their A1. I ran him for a long time, right through Nightmare Clan Boss, and he did a good job for me. But if he misses his decrease attack on that A2, it's on a, I think it's on a three turn cooldown or four turn cooldown. You've got a long time before it's back up. Basically, by the time it's back up, you have wiped fact. So because of that, he loses a lot of points. Um, and you also need to run him faster than your team to get that decrease attack rolling in sync, especially if you're using a counter attacker. Brings increased defense, good champion, solid 28 points. Madame Cerise is one of the most effective champions at keeping decrease attack on um, because it's there's not a chance to, to land it. It will land if you've got enough accuracy. Um, however, again, you have to make a run faster than your team, faster than the clan boss to be able to keep it on all the time. If you're running a speed team, I would absolutely recommend her to go in. She brings decrease attack and decrease defense. Really solid champion. 24 points. She's got a bit of a low base defense. She does need a lot of books. Um, but she can absolutely run a Nightmare Clan boss for you. Man Eater, one of the few here that has got 100% chance to land, providing you build him correctly. I think his build is based on having to crit, if I remember rightly. A um, bit of a low base defense, though. He does bring a block D buffs, which is really useful for the Clan boss. He brings unkillable buff, which is less useful unless you are running an unkillable comp. Um, doesn't need tons of books though. His A1 is already good to go. Doesn't need more books for that to be more effective. So it kind of becomes S tier across the board. Nightmare champion. And for me, 31 points, pretty solid. Let's move on to the second group of epics. Paidma, pretty underestimated champion. Very, very solid base defense. She hits hard as well, actually, which is a nice thing to have. 100% chance to land a decrease attack if she is... Um, booked up, and if she's got the high crit rate. Both really important. 
She doesn't bring any other utility, and that's what lets her down. Compared to all of these other champions, I think all of them in the list pretty much have got some sort of utility. She doesn't bring any. She is a Void champion, which means you can use her right across any affinity, which is helpful. Maybe I should give her a point for that, but um, all in all, she's definitely viable. Ultra Nightmare, 28 points, decent champ. Sepulchre, um, very solid base defense. One of the highest scores in this list. One free 2 one defense. Good chance to land a decreased attack. She brings great utility. Block damage uh, on, one, on one ally, potentially 50% of the time. Increased defense, block debuffs. Fantastic champion for clan boss. She does need books. If she's booked, she gets SS tier. Ultra Nightmare all day long. 33 points. Thanks for coming. One of the best. Um, let's talk about Tayrell. Tayrell was probably the best known decreased attack champion because for a long time he was out and out best epic. He's not anymore. He's kind of up there in amongst a group of a lot of, of champions. Uh, brilliant base defense means he can go all the way to Ultra Nightmare. Good chance to land his decrease attack. He has to have books. If he's not booked, he's pretty weak um, or he's lackluster. Does bring decreased defense as well, which is useful. Ultra Nightmare player, 28 points. It's pretty solid. Um, Stagnite then. So Stagnite is good at this role. He does bring decreased defense as well. Good chance to land his, his decreased attack. But again, you need to make him run faster than your team to make that consistent. Um, I think he's probably a Nightmare Champion. 104.6 defense isn't quite enough to push him to Ultra Nightmare for me. On to Legendaries then. Legendaries. Um, I mean, they're not actually scoring particularly higher than the Epics, which is, I suppose, a good thing for people that don't have a lot of these guys. But Ultan, always been one of my favorites. Probably my actual favorite champion in the game. Massive base defense. Very solid chance to land his decrease attack. Um... Increased defense in his kit as well, which is really helpful for Ultra Nightmare. Crazy damage. He will do as much damage for you as some of your Poisoners do. I've had my one do 10 million damage just through hits. Um, definite Ultra Nightmare champion. 32 points. One of the best. Uh, Crypt King, for me, compared to the rest of the Epics, uh, sorry, Legendaries, not that solid. Bit of a lower base defense. Good chance to land his decrease attack, to be fair. Does bring an HP burn. And I'd say he's kind of S tier across the board. Doesn't need books to be more effective at his decrease attack. So that's good. But for me, Nightmare Champion. Above Nightmare is probably not going to cut it. Um, you've got Krisk. Krisk is a bit of a weird one. You need to build a team around Krisk. He brings increased speed. He brings ally protection. He brings decreased defense. He's got a strong heal about him. Um, massive base defense. One of the best in the game, if not the best. Probably up there without close enough. Um, but his his decrease attack only lands for one turn. So if he's not landing, if he's not taking the stun hits, there's a chance that decrease attack drops off. If it drops off, it wipes your team. For me, he's a secondary decrease attack champion in your lineup, not your primary one, unless you can extend those debuffs. Um, absolutely need to book him out, and his books are expensive. Um, because of that, I'd give him S tier, but definitely capable of Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss. But for me, he's more of a secondary decrease attack champion. If you use him as your primary, there's a good chance he's going to wipe your team. Vizier. Vizier is just like becoming more and more obscene. With this Veil buff that is coming, he's going to be even stronger. He's just like a one-man band Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss champion. His base defense is low. You have to stack his defense to make him useful. He's got a 100% chance to land his decrease attack. Why do I say that? Because all you have to do is land it once. As soon as you've landed it, he will just extend it and extend it and extend it. He extends debuffs for fun. So it might take you two or three chances to land his decrease attack. All of that time, you've got a weak hitting clan boss. So you've got no fear that you're going to die. Therefore, for me, it's a 100% chance. And once it's landed... You just extend it, extend it, extend it. He's insane with it. The weakness with it, though, is he's going to bring two debuffs you don't want. He's going to bring that uh, decreased healing, and he's going to bring a block debuffs, which generally you won't want on the clan boss. You'd rather replace those with poisons. But ultimately, insane champion. Um, you do need to book him up to make him super effective, but he's going to be good for you anyway. Ultra Nightmare, 32 points, top tier. Um... And then lastly, some people absolutely love War Mother. 
probably for her looks more for their, than her skill. For me, she's got too low a base defense to be Ultra Nightmare viable. But if she's all you've got, then she does have a 100% chance to land decrease attack, which is solid. If she's the only legendary in your lineup and you're not using her, then you're probably missing out because 100% chance to land decrease attack is fantastic for clan boss. She doesn't bring any other utility though. I'm not counting her bombs. Her bombs do nothing for us. I'd rather replace those bombs with poison, which do a lot more damage. Um, so rank unbooked A. She doesn't need books to be effective at this. Her skill is effective anyway. So SS for that. For me, she's a nightmare clan boss champion at best. Unless you just don't have any other replacements. In which case, you have to stack defense on her. Stack it up. Um, 27 points overall. So let's get into the tier list then. This is quite interesting to see. I think this is a category where epics perform really, really well. Rares don't perform as well as some of the other categories, but there is Coffin Smasher that's kind of breaking the mold, definitely up there, flirting with the big boys. Um, but yeah, you can see here, Sepulchre, Ultan, Vizier, Manny, Tajarad, Chris, Coffin Smasher, Tayrell, Light Swarm, Pavema, Crypt King. I'd say they're the top tier. When you get below that, it starts to drift off a bit. Um, I've got another video where I kind of show a lot of these guys in action, so check that out. I'll link it above. Um, but yeah, hopefully that's helped you guys. Any questions or comments, leave them below. Like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. I've been Hell Hades. I'll catch you all soon.